mathematicians, let's talk about the customary measurement system. I'm going to give you a little hint right here. Customary, where's my pen, is only used in the U.S. Okay, so it's the measurements that we're used to here in the United States. In the United States, we use the customary system of measurement, but many other countries, most other countries, use a different system called the metric system. We'll talk about that in a later video. This one is about what we use here in the U.S. So we use the customary system to measure three types of things. Length, weight, and something called capacity. So length is how long something is. We can measure it in inches, in feet, in yards, in miles. Weight is how heavy something is. Is it an ounce? Is it a pound? Is it a ton? And capacity is the word that you probably haven't heard before, but basically it means how much can fit inside something. Think measuring cups. I have a cup. I have a quart. I have a pint. I have a gallon. Ooh, a gallon of ice cream? No, that's too much. Usually you buy like a pint of ice cream. So that's like how much can fit inside a container. Okay, so in a measurement, we have two important parts. The number part, the four, and the unit cups. Four cups is very different than four gallons, so it's really important that you don't just write, oh, my answer is four, because I don't know if you mean four cups or four gallons or four fluid ounces, which is like this much. You have to include your units. We can use more than one unit to describe the same thing. For example, I can say, wow, I saw a really giant turtle. It was a foot long. I can talk about the same exact turtle and say, wow, I saw a really giant turtle. It was 12 inches long, because 12 inches is the same thing as one foot. Okay, you have to know some of these, like one foot is 12 inches. Other ones that you might not know so easily are given to you on our MCAS reference sheet. So when we're solving problems like these, you always want to have your reference sheet with you. Either you're doing it online and you click the button to open it, or you're doing it in class and you have the physical paper in front of you. So we're gonna look at an example. How many cups are in two quarts? I don't know, let's figure it out. I personally use ratio tables to handle this kind of question. So I'm gonna to try to look at my conversions and find a cups to quarts conversion. One cup is eight fluid ounces. No, that doesn't help me. One pint is two cups. One quart is two pints. One gallon is four quarts. Ugh. I'm not seeing it. That's okay. Sometimes it takes two or even three steps to make your conversion. So I'm gonna start with what I know that I have. I know I have two quarts and I'm thinking about cups and what we do need to be comfortable with is knowing which one's bigger. Okay, quarts. I'm gonna go down to get to cups. Okay, I have one thing here. I got my quarts to pints and my gallons to quarts. Gallons are bigger. I don't really want to go that way, so I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to create a ratio table between quarts, which is abbreviated QT or QTS, and pints, PTS, or you can write the whole word out, but I'm lazy. Always, always start with the known conversion. If you know we're talking about feet to inches, you'd write one foot is 12 inches. If you know that we went right here and circled this, so we're going to use it, we're going to say one quart, make sure you put it in the quart side, not the pint side, equals two pints. Create a new section. Now I can input the information from my actual question, which is how many cups are in two quarts. So I'm going to create right here two quarts, I don't know how many pints. We're going to have to create an equivalent ratio. I can see here that going from 1 to 2, I do times 2. So going to 2 times 2, ooh, 2 quarts is the same as 4 pints. That's going to be really important when I set up my next ratio table. I'm going to go from pints to cups because that is my goal, is to get to cups. So new ratio table, pints to cups. Or you can do this with proportions. I personally just, I don't know why, I like ratio tables better. I'm going to start with what's on my chart. One pint equals two cups. 
Now I'm going to fill in the information that I have, which is that I have four pints. Same amount as two quarts. Four pints. How many cups is that? I can go vertically. I also can go horizontally. I'm just going to show horizontal because I already showed vertical. How do I get from one to four? Well, times four. So you've got to use the same scale factor, two times four, that equals eight. So my final answer, remember I need two parts, is not just eight. I have to include my units, eight cups. And that's how you do some customary conversions.